Hi guys, I'm back with another video and this time I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks regarding loose glitters and working on your natural nails with just regular nail polish. I had one subscriber asking me to make a video like this just to show you how I apply glitter with regular nail polish or a top coat or whatever and I was like let's just make a complete series within this little video showing you different ways to apply loose glitter and different kinds of glitter to your nails so it doesn't have to be like applied to natural nails only you can do this to acrylic to gel whatever you like these are just a few of my tips and tricks regarding applying loose glitter so let's just stop the rambling and show you my tricks right away so i already got a few different kinds of glitter out so first up is a really really finely milled glitter these are all cosmetic glitters um for your nails you could easily use just craft store glitters as well but the thing with craft store glitters is that they might lose their shine or lose a little bit of their color while um, applying top coat and so on so the color might bleed a little bit into your nail polish but second up is a little bit more like rougher milled glitter. So these compared, this is really finely milled and this is like just your regular glitter in my opinion. Next up is a mixed glitter. So this is one and the same color, but they are a little bit more chunky and somewhat more finer milled glitters in here, as you can see. I really like these spots and I get most of them from AliExpress. So if you want any links or stuff like that, just ask in the comments down below and I will reply to you directly with some links. And I'm just going to open these spots just to show you all the differences in the pots so maybe that's a little bit more clear that way i'm sorry i'm like totally not organized today so i'm already spilling some glitter <laughs> but the last kind of glitter i have is the really really chunky one and you see these kind of glitters um, being used in makeup looks a lot lately as well but i actually bought these years ago just for my nails and i apply these one by one so it is a little bit different how i apply all different kind of glitters depending on the sizes of the glitters but there are a few couple of ways to apply them so first i'm going to share with you how i apply these really finely milled glitters so first up these loose glitters and I prefer applying these right into a layer of wet nail polish just the regular color you already applied or in a wet layer of top coat and I am just going to show you first in a little bit of the nail polish I'm wearing today it is by Catrice it is 29 do not worry be happy so I'm just going to apply a thin layer to my already dried like fully dried and hardened out nail polish so let's just scoot this out of the way a little bit for now and just apply a thin layer of that base color to the nail there's like already a glitter stuck in there <laughs> And to apply the glitter or like scoop it out, I'm just using a metal cuticle pusher and I am using the cap or like the lid of the little pot to just lay my nail in a little bit so the glitter won't get everywhere. And while the polish is still wet, you just want to dunk out that glitter and just tilt your nail a little bit so most of the glitter will get stuck to the nail polish. And you just want to scoop a decent amount on there making sure you get the edges as well and just tap off the nail a little bit um, with this loose glitter i have to say you might want to tilt your finger a little bit as well so you can really get into those edges and as you can see with regular nail polish just a little bit applied um, before adding the glitter it is a little bit patchy so what you want to do once you um, got glitter all over the nail you just want to tap off the nail a little bit 
and just tap on the side make sure that most of the access is off already then what I'd like to do is already scoop that access glitter back into the pot as far as that wants to then I take a little brush and I just go really softly across the nail to make sure that the glitters that I applied stay put and lay flat so that's something I would really recommend this is just a really old nail art brush it is nothing uh, snazzy or expensive I just got this in a set for like a dollar or something from eBay back in the day and just wipe off all the excess glitter if you want like a super opaque glitter effect just go over with another layer if you applied first a layer of like the base color to adhere the glitters in just go over um, with a top coat for the second layer so you don't lose all the color from your first layer of glitter as far as brushes go you could also use a tiny fan brush you could use like an old um lipstick brush as well if you want to as long as the bristles are, are kind of soft and somewhat flat so you can easily just brush over it without disturbing the nail polish underneath because that might still be a little bit wet when you go over with your brush and of course make sure that you clean your like backdrop or background or whatever you use to do your nails on this is just a ceramic tile i use so i'm just going to spray on a little bit of um alcohol like rubbing alcohol and just take a cotton pad or like something like that to make sure you get most of the glitters off before you go on to the next nail because sometimes you don't want glitter in every single nail of your design so just make sure that your background is always like not squeaky clean but mostly glitter free for the second type of glitter this is just a little bit less like finely milled I want to try it out with a little bit of top coat and this is actually the way I tend to like glue or adhere and uh, glitters to my nails and that's just to apply a little bit of top coat and the rest is actually the same as when you would apply or adhere glitters to your nails um, with your base color so with just a regular nail polish And I do feel like this glitter, like the way this is milled, so like the regular glitter size, I just call it like that, um, is a little bit more opaque than the really finely milled, or at least it is in my opinion. So this is what it looks like without brushing the excess off. So it is a little bit more saturated and opaque than the finer milled glitter as you can see but then you just want to take your brush again and just really gently wipe off the excess you don't want to go overboard because then you will mess up the nail polish you applied underneath and as you can see here while brushing there might be some um, patchy spots as well then just go over it again with some glitter and another layer of top coat and you are good to go another thing that you might want to do if um, the glitter is just way too patchy is that when you have scooped on the glitter just make sure don't spill everything <laughs> then you might want to take like a flat brush like this and just press the glitter on before you brush the excess off so I'm just going to lay my finger down a little bit more sturdy you might want to use like a bigger plate to just catch all the glitter that is coming off so I just applied the second layer and as you can see it is completely opaque as it is I haven't brushed it off or patted it down yet but this is how the final result will be after I've brushed it all off or like brushed the excess off. So it is really opaque. I really love the shine. Um, I would 
like when it's all dried down and really stuck, I would apply another layer of a glossy top coat to make sure that none of all the glitters will stick up or scratch or anything like that. But this is the result with two layers applied with top coat. So for the next kind of glitter, which is this mixed one with finer and more chunkier glitter, you could use any of the methods I already showed you, so with a regular nail polish and top coat, but you could also try and use um, a foil glue or even uh, nail glue. Nail glue is really harsh, I don't recommend using that, but you can, you're, you're not like obligated or forbidden to use it, but for me personally I would suggest using a foil glue because it is a little bit less hard than an actual nail glue. So I'm just going to apply this the same method as I did the two previous ones with foil glue. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that foil glue on top of my base. And you really don't need much of this because I've tested it out before um, with like just testing it on my nail to feel how sticky it would get. You do have to wait a little while till it becomes extremely tacky, but then anything will stick to this. So <laughs> I'm just waiting a couple, of, a couple of seconds before I'm going to scoop some glitters out just like I did before. And with foil glue, this one is like a completely white one, so it will become completely opaque or like translucent. And when you don't see any of the white like base anymore, you know it is tacky enough to just apply your glitter or your nail foil. So I'm just going in with this mixed glitter and just dunking that onto the nail again. And this one is really, really chunky, as you can see. So make sure that you cover the entire nail, just to be sure that you don't have any patches or anything like that. Ooh, and I just got the shakes. <laughs> Sorry about that. And just tap off the finger again. Um, with chunkier glitter like that, which is in a glitter mix, you might want to just press the glitter down with your finger a little bit so there won't be any scratching of glitter onto your skin or whatever later on. So just pat it down and then just wait a couple of seconds until the foil glue is completely dry and all the glitters have, have adhered before you go over with your little brush to remove the excess. And after brushing it off, this is the end result. So this is just one layer, but it is pretty decently opaque if you ask me, with just one tiny layer or like a thin layer of foil glue. So the last type of glitter is this chunky one and I prefer applying these one by one with a dotting tool. That way you can work really precise, you don't have any overlapping glitter, um, which can actually get up again and scratch or just um, like get stuck in your hair and stuff like that. And I prefer my top coat method with that. So I'm just going to show you real quickly how I do it. So I apply a little bit of top coat and if you don't work like super quick you might want to get a regular top coat instead of a quick drying one so i just get a couple of glitters out and just oh it's stuck i'm just going to get the lid real quickly and just dunk a little bit in there there we go And with this glitter, you can just place them whenever you want to uh, or however you want to. I just like to place them like um, the honey little bee thingies. Um, you could just choose not to apply them all over the place. But you could also just go really randomly and just 
apply a couple of loose ones to give it a really playful effect and if you feel like you need a little bit more top coat just apply that to the spot you want or where you need it so i need a little bit more top coat over there and just place a few more glitters some randomly as well because that's what i like there we go so that are just some bigger chunkier loose glitters and how i like to apply them and as you can see applying these chunkier glitters is a lot less messy than all the other types of glitter and then to finish off this like five tips and tricks video i would like to share one method i've um, shown in a previous video as well and that is just to make your own glitter nail polish so you just want to take some top coat you don't want to add too much because you won't use that much either and then just take one of your glitters i really like this like medium sized one and just dunk some of that glitter out i always close um, the little pots right away because i don't want it to get everywhere and then you just want to mix your own glitter polish like that and you could apply this with like a brush let me just grab one i'm just grabbing this same brush i have used um, to brush off the excess and if you would like the like the glitter mix polish to be a little bit more thick you might want to apply a little more glitter or just start with less um, top coat to start with and the tip with this mix is you might want to work quick especially when you use a quick drying top coat and um, this is the result of the glitter top coat mix and this technique i actually learned from robin moses nail art she is like an awesome youtuber and a nail stylist for decades she does awesome work on like clients she, she actually never does her nails herself um apart from me which i only show my own nails on camera um but yeah if you want to learn like a lot of awesome techniques do check her out because she has taught me a lot without her even knowing it so please let her know in the comments down below or through social media and stuff that i really adore her um and just support her subscribe and just watch her videos she has like a ton of videos but yeah that were actually all the different techniques that i use with different types of glitters so this is a really like finely milled one with just one layer these are two layers um i adhered with top coat oh and this one was with a regular polish of course here is um again one with some chunkier glitter it's like a glitter mix and i applied that with um foil glue this chunkier one i added piece by piece with top coat and this is a glitter and top coat mix so i really hope you enjoyed i really hope you learned something and you really can make this work for yourself let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips or tricks and yeah thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time